Skate.com. And if you are looking to improve your skateboarding or start skateboarding, you've tuned in to the right video. We're going to cover the three main steps of every single skateboard trick that you've ever wanted to learn how to do. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Rob Dunphy. I'm the owner of GoSkate.com. And I started out skateboarding like many of you. I'm broke, busted, and just flat out disgusted. I sucked. I probably was worse than the majority of you who are watching this film. There was no such thing as YouTube to be able to check out how to do an ollie, or even skateboard school, or someone else could teach you how to do a trick. It was just unheard of. It was ridiculous. And since then, I've made my personal mission to help as many people as possible learn skateboarding. I have a goal to help one million people across planet Earth learn how to skate. So help me spread the word by liking and commenting and sharing, of course, this skate video with other people. Now let's go ahead and get started. There are three main aspects you have to understand in order to learn the ollie, tray flip, hard flip, whatever trick it is that you want to learn how to do. First step is a very common sense logical one. It's your foot placement. You've got to understand where to start your, your feet for each trick, the foot placement. We're not going to cover too much on that. We're going to come back. After foot placement, I'm not sure you all can see this on the right a little bigger. You have to understand what we call our pressure points. Pressure points. Pressure points are where you put your pressure on your feet. So you have two types of pressure points. You have pressure for your pop and the pressure for your flick. We also can call those flick points. The flick points would be used when you need to flick the board with that front foot generally, or that back foot if you're going nolly. Example would be your kick flip. If you're doing a kick flip on your board, with that foot that you flick your board to spin it, well, where exactly you hit your board is called the flick point. So you have to understand that point that you need to hit every time in order to get consistent uh, kick flips down. That's the, called the flick point. Now, pressure point would be, if let's say this is your skateboard here. You get your flick point up here that you use to kick flip. And then you also have to have the right foot placement. So you're going to have your back foot on the tail of the skateboard, and you're going to press down. That's going to be your pop, middle of the front of the board. That's going to be the pressure point. Okay, pressure point, flip point, boom. Okay, so you've understood half of the equation of a skateboard trick right here. First, we got the foot placement right. We understand where to put our back foot and our front foot. Then we understand the pressure point and the flip point, and we understand the difference between those two. So you, if you can understand those for a trick, you've got about half of it down. Lastly. Number three, or second to last, I should say, upper body position. The number one most overlooked aspect of skateboarding tricks is the upper body positioning, my friends. And it's usually the same for almost every trick. However, in the trick tip videos, they will never tell you what to do with the upper body. They'll always say that your foot placement, your flick, and sometimes they'll say twist that, twist this. But the main thing is you got to make sure your upper body position is consistent for your tricks. Specifically, let's look at your shoulders. For almost every trick you do on a skateboard, your upper body position for your shoulders requires your shoulders to be level. If you drop your back shoulder or front shoulder, that's going to create a mobbed trick. Mobbed. M O B B E D. Like the Italian mob, but mobbed. It's not going to look pretty. So if you keep your shoulders straight, level, it's going to make your tricks look nice. You're going to have good style. Okay? Very important. And so that's, that's step one is keeping them level. Step two is you also have a center of balance on the board. When you twist your body front or back, 
you then move your center of balance either to the front of the board or to the back of the board. For your tricks, in order to land them nicely with both your feet at about the same time, you don't want to be leaning too far back or too far forward and moving that center of balance in either direction. If this is your skateboard right here, you want your center of balance right down the center of the board. That creates those landings that you land right on the bolts. They're always telling you in these skateboard trick tip videos, make sure you land on the bolts. What exactly do they mean by that? They mean by keep, keep your center of balance. And then you'll easily be able to land the bolts. Lastly, but we just covered it, landing. Perhaps the easiest step of things, if you've got your foot positioning right, if you've got your pressure points right, you've got your flip points right, and you've got your upper body positioning right, the landing is the easiest part because you're, you've set up everything you need for number four. Okay, so one, two, and three automatically brings you to number four. And there you have it, my friends. That's what you need to know for every trick. You need to know these three, then you'll be landing almost everything that you want to learn how to do. Understand those three things, and you've got it. My friends, this is Rob from GoSkate.com. If you want to learn how to skateboard, check out GoSkate.com.